All right, in this video, I want to show you how I analyze what I'm doing with the face because I had a feeling that this wasn't going back far enough, but also that it was going out too wide and then turning back. Do you see how this turns back at a nice gradual pace going back here? And then this seems to be longer. Um, it's because it's it's not, it needs to start going back right about this point here and go, go more straight back than instead of this it needs to be going this okay another thing is remember the trick about the black paper putting it behind so I can see what's going on uh, I think my little fan blew that off but um, I don't know where it is right now but I'm putting in the file right here so now compare it to the eyes see because the mouth is going to come straight down from the center of the eye so this could be a little bit too wide here but she's smiling so it's not if I'm going to make a mistake on one end or the other it's better to do that just dropped another pointer tool. Okay, so another dentist tool here. Uh, and this one, it comes down to the center of the eye here. But again, I need more depth in the face. I'm not getting it to turn fast enough. But what I had wanted to show you, let's see if it'll work with this one, is that the lip, the lip on this side right here is a little bit too out compared to this one. If I want them to be even, and actually as you're pulling the muscles back for a smile, they're going to go right across the front of your teeth, aren't they? So I shouldn't have one lip bulging out more than the other. So more than likely, since I can't take this away, I've got to knock this one back. That'll also change the profile on that. So I find that it's these views that you don't see very often that give you a lot of information because it really, and now to be fair, I'm also dealing with the wide angle lens for this camera so it makes this face look really fat and wide when it's not so much really like that in reality. However, I find when I'm looking at this in person I'm getting a lot more information about what needs to happen to make this more symmetrical. So I'm going to be pulling this back, shaving off some of that upper lip, and then also I wanted to open up the smile on this sister. I can do this without losing myself here. Okay, and so I, I have a line marked here because I want to open up this lower lip and make it a little bit thinner, um, but also because I know I'm going to push this back straighter, fatter uh, there. But I have some time to do that. The other thing is I can come up and look from the top here. Do you see I also have this lip sticking out a bunch. Now I need to remember the angle of the face because again from this point of view the angle of the eyes, the angle of the nostrils, the angle of the corners of the mouth, those things need to be all parallel. But I also need to remember that I tilted the face to go one way or the other and so that's the kind of thing. You see so here I'll come here and tilt the camera so it's parallel for that. And then I'll start studying what I did with the cheeks and um, and the mouth and that kind of thing. So that's part of my studies there, and I hope it helps you figure out what's wrong or what's going well with your own face when you sculpt. Ciao, ciao.